It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my EU4 series where I try and form Lapland. Someone told me, okay, this someone told me in the comments a long while ago that you can form Lapland by getting a Sami province in, in Lapland and making it rebel and Sami nationalists rise up and then they form Lapland, then you can play as them. Is that just made up? Because there's no cause for a Lapland. Uh, were they just completely making that up? Were they deceiving me? But have I been deceived? Let me know in the comments, guys. I don't think that's true, actually. What does corrupt officials do? It reduces the spy network. Ah, right. Oh, this kind of reminds me of the system in... Oh, God, I don't know why Paradox have done this. Sorry, I'm going to go on a Paradox rant right now. Um, But can you remember... Vic I'm not sure if you guys play Victoria 2 and the whole uh, influence system. I feel like you constantly have to kind of press the buttons at the right time to be able to beat the influence system. And I feel like this is what it kind of is. Spy networks are now the influence system for like EU4, with the corrupt officials like reducing other people's spy networks and stuff. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of mechanics. I don't find them very fun. They're not fun, Dave. Alright, okay. Let's declare war on Lithuania. Is it going to be doable? No, because we've not, we're not ready for war yet. Okay, maybe we should... So we're, we're ahead on technology. Yeah, we are ahead on technology. Um, we've got the alliance with... Will Austria join the war? No. Uh, fighting into the war does not have 10 favours. Of course, they don't have the favours, do they? <sighs> so this is the problem we're going to have, okay? So we're going to be at war with Bohemia, and Bohemia is uber strong. So they're going to be our biggest foe. Now, Georgia is also going to be a pain in the ass because they're going to push out our southern border unless they're unable to get through here. I imagine these two are rivals, are they? No, they're not. To be honest with you, they're so weak they can't even get a rival. Hmm. We've got three loans as well. Okay, how many leaders can we have? We can have another one, so let's hope for a good one. He's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, so we are going to try the carpet sieging strategy. So we're going to go directly for the forts. So there's three forts here. So we'll siege all this area down in the north immediately. Oh, and that's it, actually. There's just there's just four forts in total. Uh, if we go for this one, we're going to have to go all the way around, though. Mm, I don't really want to do that. No. A raw marriage with Hungary. Okay. Uh, our leader is architectural visionary. Okay. All right. All right, we got max morale. We are going to declare war now. Poland is going to join. So Poland is pretty much just going to be our buffer. Is Bohemia at war with anyone? No. Oh, that's a bit of annoying because if they're at war, that would cause us a nice distraction. But no, it's not happening. All right, we are going to go for... In, in, uh, we'll go for Braslaw. Braslav? Where is Braslav? I'll go for Kiev, maybe. Yeah, I'll go for Kiev. All right, we're at war. So we're going to go here, here. Where's the other fort? It's here. Go here. You guys go here. We'll, we'll grab Kiev as well. Culture conversion complete. Can we, that's it. Almost got full culture unity, too. Working on the cause. Alright, that's not pretty nice. A uh, leader enters the first combat and gets absolutely annihilated. Oh!
Okay, so the Polish are trying to... Oh, that's just, this is the Bohemians. And he has got a 6-2 general. This guy is pretty damn good. Okay, I'm not going to move this guy off. Uh, but I am going to intercept here. We have... Oh, actually, we... Oh, actually, we did beat them there. Uh, just based on sheer numbers. No, don't go there. Um... I'm starting to think that it might be a better idea to move two armies into Poland. Can't go into their capital there. Go here. Right, okay. Um, okay, we're having a bit of a problem with sieging here. I can't believe this is a Lithuanian army too. How did they get around the back of me? Uh Okay, um, what fort is this? This is a 6 fort. Maximum 22,000 troops need to siege this down. Okay. Okay, we're uh, intercepting more troops here. I don't think we're going to get, and they completely stack white me. This guy is an absolute god. Um,. Yeah, man, I can't compete with the 3-6 guy. He's just so good. And he's going to intercept me there. I can't get him out of there now. He's gone. Damn, I was not prepared for the god general. Um, okay, so let's see if we can hire a better general. He's a little bit better. That's going to be a, a clear wipe. I can't hold that. Yeah, instantly destroyed. Oh, actually, no, it's not a wipe. Okay, that's weird. Smaller army size, but that doesn't equate to a wipe. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Well, we've intercepted them here now. We can't compete because the army size is too big. I think Poland has got absolutely disintegrated. All right, so it's, it's pretty clear we've lost this war, haven't we? Um, ah, shit. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. Okay, so what we're going to do is back out as quick as we can. Actually, we're probably better off just giving them a peace deal here, aren't we? And they want an absolutely generous peace deal. How, how are they managed... To, how does this equate to 863 war score? Is it based on the fact that... Yeah, I'm kind of confused how this equates to 63 war score. This is feels like a very low number for the amount of land that they're grabbing. Okay, um, let's analyze this. So what's going to happen is if I pull armies off my western front, they're going to dance around in the east. I'll just be dancing them and I'll be d running around the countryside trying to grab them. Um, which is probably the reason why I love forts so much, just to prevent that little uh, ping pong around the countryside. Um... No, I can't win this. I can't win it's over. Okay, uh, so we're going to have to try and make the war go on longer to try our absolute best to get a, uh, a more generous peace deal. Because right now the peace deal is dog shit. They'll actually... Oh, hang on. What the fuck? I was about to say, they're going to accept a peace deal We're just for money, but they want money and land. Eep. I'm wondering if this is Poland's land. Let's have a look at what my vassals are doing. So our vassals are seeding. Let's put them on support. Um, is this a smaller army? No, it's not. Okay, so... I'm actually probably tempted to make a Merc army. Make peace with Bohemia. Oh my god. <laughs> You're actually right. I never thought of that. But this completely dismembers Poland. Oh, I'll do it. It's 
not my land. <laughs> okay. Oh man, that felt like an exploit. I've just explained the game. <laughs> so I'm at war now with Georgia, Pomeria, and Lithuania. And now I've got a positive war score. At this stage, you know what I want to do? I don't actually want to care about this army here that's grabbing land. I don't give a shit. I just want to grab their land now. Ah, oh, this is so dirty. This is the dirtiest of tactics. Okay, fair enough. I'll do it anyway. It's been done now, guys. The dirtiness has happened. Therefore, it can't get any dirtier, right? Right? Is there any way this could get any dirty? I don't know. And even Poland's going to take care of this Pomenarian army as well. And absolutely decimate them. And the Pomenarian general is pretty good too. Ooh, look at the size of that army there. United by prayer. Uh, no. I think that's an orthodox specific event, that. Because I've never actually seen that event fire for any other countries. Um, taking the land here. I guess we're going to grab that one as well. There's been a few times where I've done this where I feel like I've forced them into a peace before there's been any mage conflict. Even though they've got a relatively large size army. And I feel like that's where I want to aim for now. Oh, Poland. Hang on a minute, is Poland still in the war? So hang on a second, so Poland has submitted some of their land to Bohemia. But yet Poland's still in the war. What? I, I feel like now I know that. I feel like I'll do nothing but exploit that strategy. Because I feel... Because surely if Bohemia wants to honor the alliance of the Lithuanians, they'll do their absolute best to try and stay in the battle, won't they? So why did they... Pe Someone explain to me in the comments why they chose to allow the peace out early. Because surely they're dishonoring their own alliance then, aren't they? The AI has no faith in its own alliances, guys. It does not believe. Alright. Alright, we're going to move an army over here. And we're going to look like we're going to get some conflict in this region. Uh, got a siege guy. Yep. Go here. Attach the siege. Attach the siege. Can probably siege these down as well. Alright. That's it. That's all the forts taken. How are we force limit? So our force limit is way, 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 way lower than what we can overall take. Okay. Mm. I'm sieging down here too. 35,000. Gain the money. Oh, we need the money. Definitely. So what we'll do here... Um, Alright, you're out of the war now. Okay, so we're going to go here. And what's going to happen now is they're going to run away. I know they are. Here comes the, the famous ping-pocking around the countryside. Um, we've got here. Go here. We could split them off. Oh, actually, no. We'll go for this guy. Is he going to break away? No, we got him. Culture conversion complete. We might as well continue the culture convert too. Convert into Sammy. Good, good, good. They have got a fort in Bessarabia. That's something I need to be aware of. You, you're not backing up? Oh, shit. Stay here. Go here. Ah, oh, you have to go all the way around. Let's go in. Oh, shit. They just grabbed the fort just in time as well. Damn, son. Oh, and you're going to fight me here? They got, uh, this is the 2-5 general. The numbers are going to be on par here as well. So this is a pretty fair fight. How did we break away early then? That confused me a little bit. The morale was still up, wasn't it? Aristocratic Q. The boyers have lots of influence. Right. Oh, they're going to try and wipe me here, aren't they? No? Okay. Uh, go here. These armies are too big. I haven't got another army. I'm going to have to bring another one up. 
So, alright. Bring another one up. Go here. Go here. God, that event. I think we've had that event now 11, at least 10 times. United by prayer. Okay, we're going to go here. This land's been taken. So right now, they should be having a nightmare of a problem with uh, with war exhaustion because of all their land being occupied. Is that what it works? I swear that's the way it works, isn't it? Okay, so... Alright, right now, actually, what the best thing to do would be is to tell them to siege down easy land, wouldn't it? To grab as much back as possible. Alright, this is a strategy. No, it's not going to work because they're going to do their absolute best to dodge right now. I guess what we should do is tell them to do force march and go this way. <laughs> you could have gone all the way through Scandinavia to dodge me. Oh, you son of a... No. He is actually going to get away. Oh, damn. I love five speed too much. I love it too much to deny the pleasure of the five speeds. Alright, we finally catched up. The Lithio Russian... Uh... Oh, Poland ducked out. All right. All right. It feels like the AI doesn't... It, it, the, new, the new thing with the AI dodging combat, I feel like they don't take into account... Um, they don't take into account Force March. It's like they don't understand the calculation behind it. Or maybe I'm just chasing them. Maybe that's it and they don't want to use Force March. I'm not sure. Uh, this is for admin. We'll take care of that soon, maybe. War taxes, definitely. This is the 4-6 general. Uh, please run away. No, don't. Actually, no, don't run away. Ooh, rebels. Got him. Oh, my guy. Go here. Oh, shit. This is a wipe. Got him. No, it's not. Oh, it is. Is it not? Is it? Is it? The Ottomans. Polish Poland. Polish Poland. Okay. Um, let's have a look at the scores. I think from a, just a strategy of keeping the AI contained, I think I like forts just for the ability to stop them doing this this kind of strategy. The AI really, really enjoys doing this. I guess as a player, you just want to win the battles, but the AI feels like it needs to do a mixture of both. Um, yeah, hang on, where are all their armies gone? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll let, I'll, let the, I'll let my vassals siege down the land. percent. I wonder where the rest of their army is. Alright, we've only got aristocratic coup. And we need to take some of the land off them. I'll take that off you. They're just under now, that's good. Convert the Swedish land, that's good. Max out against Denmark. We need to get Max against Norway. See, what happened there is I pieced out early to get Bohemia out of the war and I gave up large amounts of territory. From Poland to, to Bohemia. But yet Poland still loves me. What? Alright, they got an army here. Blockade, right. Is that the only thing that's stopping this war from continuing? Is just the blockade? Uh, Alright, we'll move our big armies over and we'll see if we can push them in the east. Increase relations between... Oh, who cares, who cares. Did you say that? Border conflicts from the Cossacks between Russia and Norway. <laughs> the Arctic Cossacks. A 
Okay, Lithuania wants to peace out. Bohemia. What? Bohemia will force to give Russia ten percent of their income. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that to be a result. I did not expect that at all. So we've got an army down here, and this is George's army. I think what we can do here is we can pin them in. This is probably going to be this fight. Is that it? No? Okay. Whoa, shit, stop. Where are you guys going? Are they going to run into Siberia? Alright, I want out of this war now. So let's think about this. So Kiev is definitely what we want. Um... Funnily enough, we can take their capital. I didn't expect that. Oh my god, what a glorious victory. Oh. Oh. It caused a coalition. Will be 140% over, over extension. You know what? I live on the edge. Live on the edge. What? Did we actually grab that? Whoa, for a second it didn't show. I panicked and I had a heart attack. I wasn't even sure if that that wasn't even showing for a moment, was it? Okay, here we go. So admin arena. There we go. Um Yep. You go here, go here. So the big issue right now is we're gonna get like random Labad events because we're over extension by a hundred percent. Yeah, we're, we're over by 140%, so that's some bad shits going down, boys. So this is a, a time of turbulence. Uh, building up the spy network. Is there anything else we can build up? No, we can't make any more claims. We can't make any more claims against Norway, either. Okay, fair enough. Oh, we can't make claims here? Why not? Oh, because we've not got enough um, spy network. Okay. Let's have a look. I've never looked at this, you know, but I've never looked at what, it, what happens when you're over extension. So the corruption is massively going up. Merchant costs, oh, but mercenary cost, trade abroad reduction. So it really squeezes your income as well. Okay. Interesting. All right, conversion time, boys. How are we doing? So we're at 30% now. So we are the dominant culture, but we're not the majority. Dominant, but not the majority. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I realized we lost an army as well because it got wiped as well, didn't we? I forgot about that. Hmm. Might want to replace that dude. He is. All right, any other claims? So we've got a claim, a few claims on here. The Kuban region. Is there any areas here of significance? No, not really. It's all dog shit. No, we've we've grabbed we've grabbed all the areas that have the most. Twenty-eight ducats. Oh yeah. So we're allied with Poland. We're allied with Poland with their with their colony of Polish Poland. So we are going to go to war with Vinland, so right now we're going to need to make some boats. So I'm, let's not mess around, let's make the boats right now. Yeah, let's make those boats immediately, because I don't want to be faffing around. 
And I feel like we're just going to grab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There we go. I just realised that Norway controls larger parts of, of Scotland. Hmm. So, I'm trying to think right now what we can do. I imagine Finland's probably got a decent navy, so it's not even going to be enough. Oh, actually, maybe it will. Kid you not, this guy's. I believe it or not, but there is ivory in Greenland. Is that some kind of like walrus tusk? I, I, that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> I thought ivory had to be from an elephant. Well, what do you know? There are. Oh, maybe it's like woolly mammoths in Greenland. Maybe we've rediscovered the woolly mammoth. All right. Okay. What are we doing? Oh yeah. Um. Oh yeah. I wanted to make a university in my new capital. Oh, we we're gonna go for Lapland, weren't we? Lapland or Finnmark? I don't know. I always think Finnmark when I think of like the uh, the Lapish peoples. Not had any rebellions yet. That's a bad event. Oop. Oh, I don't care about that really. Still got all their cores. They're still loyal as well, even though the relations are god awful. Relations for Poland. Poland is at war with France too. Yeah, sure. I'll let them beat up the Ottomans because I have a feeling in the future the Ottomans are going to cause me lots of stress. So. Uh, Kievian Separatists. 46,000 troops. Timurids have sabotaged our reputation. How are we doing on tech, by the way? Um, alright. Kievan Separatists in Kiev. Oh, what do you know? It makes sense. There we go. We got enough? Is it enough? Yep. Got them. Uh, we've also got some rebels here too. Yetistan? Yetisan. That's another bad event as well. Oh shit! Ooh, two big armies. <clears throat> oh my god, it's uh, it's muskets versus spears. Who will win? Got him. Oh, we're clearing up the rebels already. Never mind. What else we got? Is he going to reach there in time? I don't think he will. Whoa, where are you going, guys? What the fuck? <laughs> the five stream, uh, the five speed dreams. Okay, random rebels are another downside of uh, being overextended as well. So when's our overextension going to end? Making the cogs, which is good. Clearing out the rebels there, that's good. Yeah, this is absolutely way more land I, I thought I would take. Oh man. Poland is getting absolutely decimated. They don't have any claims though. What is this war about? They're a war with some major powers though. France and all of Spain. And Spain is really messy. Aragon Strong. Alright, 
Oh, there we go. So, are we over our extension now? Are we over? Oh, did you see that? Are we over our over extension? Oh! Okay, we're done now. Alright, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, to like and subscribe. I think what we'll probably do next is... We will try and... Maybe make a good navy. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I think we might need to annex some of these vassals as well. And no, we, we. I guess we're gonna annex vassals. We're gonna try and take out this land of Norway and Denmark, form Scandinavia. And in the meantime, because we're declaring war on Norway, we can take out their colony as well. We can probably annex all their colony. What's this? Spanish Florida. Okay. Dutch Brazil. Yeah. So what we could do is if we drop a colony here. Yeah, if we drop a colony here, we can gobble up all this land, can't we? I feel like that's the easiest thing to do in this game. When you've got like a nation like Brittany, or I don't know, Pit Brittany, or Norway, or Denmark, or some other minor nation, well, minor nation in the at the end of this game. I feel like you can gobble up all their colonies, it's nice and easy. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, drop us a comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.